In order to describe black gay culture, black gay male culture, I do not think the first words that would come to your mind would be steady and ground. Can I get an amen? Am I telling the truth? Okay. So here I am, somebody who is very committed to being, at least up there, <laughs> with another black gay man, you know, I believe, yes. Uh huh. And uh, I am a bit of a fish out of water. Because my whole being is defined by the idea of being steady and grounded. In the midst of a culture that is woo, and it doesn't really fit. See. And in some council recently, I was given some very objective good advice. Let me go back a little bit. So part of the issues that I've had in dating or dealing with men is that because black gay male culture tends to be a little unsteady, and because we give ourselves permission, right, to look at Tom, Dick, and Harry, and Paul, and Peter. Come on now. Y'all, can I just get a few amen? Just stay with me for 10 minutes, because I know I'm preaching up in here today. Our culture is on a collision course with some of my own values. So what's a brother to do? A dear friend said, you need to toughen up. Because the idea of another gay man who's got those values might not, you know, you're going to have to toughen up a little bit. And basically what she was trying to tell me is, stop being such a lesbian. <laughs> and my honest reaction to that was, I'm a black man who can walk into a white corporate boardroom and do my thing and have no issue, and that makes me tough. I can publish an article that says black and gay is beautiful, and that makes me tough. I'm not quite sure if I really want to toughen up in this area. Because the idea of becoming tough to indulge people in their kind of having a wandering eye when I'm trying to be focused feels like it's compromising me. And I don't want to be compromised. So Claudia is going to help me figure out how do I toughen up? Or do I just go another way? And I've told you all of this about my own personal business this morning. Because I want to free you from the idea that there's something wrong with you if you don't have it all together. I want to free you this morning to know that life is complex and complicated. Our hearts are complex and complicated. Emotions are complex and complicated. Relationships are complex and complicated. Esau was the older son who should have gotten him. 
his father's blessing. But the family was so messy that Rebecca, their mother, schemed and plotted with Jacob to trick their father into blessing Jacob. But God stepped in and chastised Jacob. And after God chastised Jacob and broke Jacob, then he restored him and he anointed him and he used him to be one of the fathers of Israel. I wish I had a church of the here this morning. Uh, 